It's Friday! Woo! Finally Friday, first weekend for me in Phoenix. I'm still kind of settling into my apartment, so I'm kind of doing all these miscellaneous items. But now I think since I'm off work, I'm gonna go out to the superstitions and just watch sunset, so let's go. Get out to the superstitions. It's Friday, just got off work. It's sunny, it's a good day. What better way to start your weekend than watching sunset, right? So my first couple days in Phoenix have actually been kind of crazy. Been dealing with kind of moving everything in, getting situated. There was actually a storm that hit Phoenix like the day after I got here. And Man. the superstitions actually got a bunch of snow, which is I hear is pretty rare. So I was pretty honored to be a part of that. I did bring some Washington weather with me, I guess. I'll probably have some clips in this video of that. Cacti and the snow and the mountains. It was awesome. This will be my official first weekend in Phoenix. We'll see if we can get a good viewpoint, a good little place to park, get some sunset shots. I also brought my drone and I'm a little nervous because this will be the first time I've flown it by myself. Usually I'm there with like my brother and we fly it together. I got a little bit of butterflies going. A little bit of butterflies going in my belly because I don't want to crash it or lose it or anything like that. Just hope it goes okay. But yeah, let's get out to sunset. Let's get some good old deserty sunset action. Yeah, I love you, good sunset. Have a destination for tonight's sunset. I'm just driving out on the road that heads into the superstition. Uh, hopefully, we'll find a little pullout or something with a good view. And just sit back, relax, and enjoy that silky, milky, dilky, wilky sunset, baby. All right, so we just pulled off to the side of the road, and I think this will be a pretty decent spot to watch the sunset. That's what we're looking at. So, yeah, let's just get situated and uh, enjoy it. So there's our car, and we're way out here now. But the view is spectacular. Also, can you tell I know how to dress myself? Literally every piece of clothing is a different color. <laughs> Look at these views we got. So good. Okay, let's try to throw the drone up. See what kind of clips we can get. Like I said, I'm a little nervous, but that's why you bought the drone in the first place, right? Is to use it. So uh, let's give it a go. Let's see if we can get this thing figured out.
it's hard to beat it man it's hard to beat it desert in the winter time i will admit is hard to beat and i'm happy to be here so i'm so grateful so humbled all of this God's creation at my fingertips is just the best feeling in the world. This is a good start to my first week in here. This is just, this is just unreal. Look at this. I'm gonna try and grab some photos while there's still a little bit of daylight left. You guys are gonna watch me run back and forth for this. And that's one photo. We'll do that about 10 more times. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pull my actual camera out and see if we can get any good shots on that. The big cojona. Yeah, 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 yeah. I actually think I might wanna try the bigger lens. Let's see what this big boy can get. I know you guys probably can't see on here, but there's that big mountain way in the back with the snow on it. It's far away, but this thing can zoom in. It makes it look so crispy. Hopefully those turn out good. I think they will. We'll just stick it out here and snag some photos in the last light and we'll call it a good evening. It's so cool that I'm able just to jet out here real quick and just get content like this. This is, this is why I came down here right here. Because back home it's all gloomy in winter and just rain, rain, rain. It's hard to get content. So coming down here this time of year is prime time because now I can just load up on the content. There's no limits because the weather down here is just perfect this time of year. So I'm looking forward to these next couple months down here. It's going to be fun. I would call that a successful sunset mission. We got to fly the drone. We got some epic pictures, I think. And we got some epic views. It was a beautiful sunset. And we so, didn't crash the drone. So that's a success in itself. God, they're so cool. I love cacti. They're just so awesome. I'm walking back to the car now and it's early. It's only like 6.30, 7. I have my golf clubs with me, so I'm thinking about going to the range for a second. If you guys don't know that about me already, uh, I love golf. It's right up there next to photography and working out as my top. I love those are the top three are for sure. Working out, photography, golf, and then basketball. So, me. and I think I might go to a night range maybe and just hit a couple balls just for fun. If I don't feel yeah. awkward, maybe I'll uh, let you guys see a couple swings, set up a camera and, and do a few swings for you guys. I feel like if I'm setting up a camera, people are going to think I'm good. And then I just shank it into the woods. <laughs> there she is, still safe and sound. Oh, All right. At the car. Let's get back into town and maybe, like I said, we'll go golfing a little bit and I'll show you some swings. No promises, but we'll see. If I get some good swings, then you guys will see it. If you don't see it, you know that I had a terrible session. <laughs> All right, let's get over there. golf because the range that I went to wasn't even open the lights weren't even on so and there's no there wasn't really any other ranges nearby that I could uh pull an audible and go to so I just decided to come home so no golf tonight maybe tomorrow or the following days but we'll see so I'm just gonna uh, get ready for bed and get some rest and then hopefully I'll be going on a hike tomorrow and I'll bring you guys along for that so for now I'm gonna get some sleep First things first, 
cup of coffee got to get it going and then after that i'm gonna finish packing up my gear we're gonna head to the lost dutchman state park and we're gonna go on a hike i'm thinking i'm gonna either do flat iron or maybe praying hands if you guys know flat iron is a brute it is a brute of a hike i've done it before it's definitely not for the faint of heart it's pretty much straight up just tons of gain and just a challenge so we'll see i do like a challenge i do like challenging myself on hikes but i'm also bringing a lot of gear because i want to have coffee at the top so i might have a heavy pack but it's nothing we haven't done before so it's gonna be a good time so let's get this cup of joe finish packing up and we'll get out there It's actually a little bit full. Hold on now. Hold on there, Betsy. You're a little overflowing. Cheers. It's a little hot. We've already learned from that mistake. Or have we? We'll let that cool off. I'm gonna finish packing and then Let's get this show on the road, shall we? Look like Casper the Ghost. The sun is blazing right now. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. We're at the Fry's Marketplace. Just gonna grab some waters and then I need a little. Yeah, let's get over to the park, get in and start this hike, man. It's about 7.30 in the morning. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. The sun is shining. And we got a hike in front of us, so how much better could it get, right? I'm super excited. Let's get up on that trail and get some hiking done. Get some views in, baby. Yeah! Look how beautiful this place is. Look how beautiful of a morning this is, too. Oh, baby. The stoke right now is at an all-time high. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, how you doing? Good, thanks. What brings you in today? So I'm thinking about doing the flat iron hike. Sure, so it's not recommended today. Oh, uh, really? We did have several search and rescue up there yesterday due to the snow and ice. Uh, oh, is there still, legs. still snow up there? Yeah, it's solid ice. And oh, okay. Get, have you done that hike before? I have, yeah. Yeah, when you get to the almost the top, it's called the wall. Right. It's just frozen solid. So you oh, need really? ice picks and stuff like that to get oh, to the top okay. today. Dang, okay. You're welcome there... to go try it out, but it's just not recommended. Oh. Okay, so you heard the guy. Uh, He's not recommending the flat iron trail because of ice and some sketchy conditions from the recent snow that we've had but i think i'm still going to do it because i can't imagine it's that bad it's like i've hiked on snow and ice before in washington it's like kind of i'm used to it so i'm doing it so i think i'm still going to go for it but yeah let's get this show on the road huh let's get it going All right, ready to roll. Let's get going. Hey, little dude. So I will be going all the way on the top of that. It is a long ways and it's a tough hike. So wish me luck. I just can't get over how beautiful this morning is. Look at this. Like, are you kidding me? It's just so, so pretty. It's incredible. I mean, just look at that. Ah, immaculate. <laughs> the fact that people live right here, that's not fair. Okay, so we just finished the pregame to this trail. 
little warm up. And now we're into the real stuff. Going right there. Let's get after it. Hat's already gotta come off. I'm already sweating. That means we're mean in business now. I don't know what's harder, going up or coming back down for the camera. Let's keep it going. Hoodie's off, that means we mean business. Okay, just checking in. I'm fine. I'm doing. I'm doing fine. <laughs> we still have all of this, and then to that. So we got a ways to go, but it's been fun so far. Oh, what up, dude? Dabs. I come back for you guys every time. Okay, how do I get up this? Any ideas? I guess just straight up. It sounds like I'm breathing hard. It's because I am. Don't judge me. <laughs> See, I always come back for you guys. Never leave you behind. Getting into some snow now, making progress. There's parts of this trail where it's hard to know which way to go. You're kind of just eyeballing it, finding the easiest route. This is it, but we're going with it. Yeah, this definitely isn't it. But... Oh, yeah, don't go that way. <laughs> We're almost there, almost to the top. Basically rock climbing. Yeah. 
Yep. I'm essentially rock climbing right now. <laughs> Look what I just came up. <laughs> I made it. It's slippery in here though. Yeah, that's ice. Pure ice. We made it up top, and now we're just walking over to the flat iron. Let's see if we can get over here without slipping on our face. This is pure ice. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Doing well. Good. That's all right, I guess. Good What's up, man? Yeah. 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 See? It's so slick. Super windy and really cold up there, so I couldn't stand it anymore. So I'm gonna go up over here somewhere, and hopefully it's blocked from the wind and a little bit warmer. So it's still a little windy right here. I'm hoping once I get over this ridge behind these rocks, that should be blocked a little bit. Hopefully. So that's where we just were. Flat iron. Look at that view. Such an interesting tree. Gives me straight Dr. Seuss vibes. <laughs> yeah, you can tell the wind is still bad on this side, so that's unfortunate. That right there just looks crazy to me. It looks so cool. Set my chair up right over there, enjoy the view, and uh, just relax for a little bit. Sitting in my chair, enjoying the view. I'm just gonna soak in this view for a little bit longer and then uh, probably pack up and get out of here. It's a fantastic view. It's unbeatable. Unbeatable. <coughs> Excuse me. Heck yeah. All right, we're all packed up. We'll start making our way back down. All that work we did to get up here, now we gotta reverse it all and go back down. One thing I will say though, is that a lot of people go to this. This is the flat iron. This is technically the destination of this hike. It's super crowded. A lot of people go over there. And it's a nice view of the city and stuff, but if you go over to your left at the top, you can come out on this thing, get up on this ridge, and then you get this view. This is like an unblocked view of all the superstitions. And you got four peaks over there. I don't know, in my opinion, it's just a better view over here, better destination, but I guess that's up to you. <laughs> that is what we gotta go down. All the way back down to like that area. Should be a good time. <laughs> I look forward to this opportunity. <laughs> okay, coming down is definitely a lot different than going up. I'm trying to decide which one's harder, going up or going down. I don't know yet. <laughs> both are, both have their challenges. 
I think we're about halfway down now, so we're making good time. We were at the top of that. <laughs> to the bottom. It's insane. I was about there. Looking back up there feels so crazy. To think that I was up there. Right there. It's wild. We are almost back to the car. I need some water and some food. <laughs> I was all the way up there. Crazy. But we made it out of the mountain part. It's behind us. So we are almost back. The hike is a brutal hike. It's a big boy. But it is worth it. The view is incredible. Hikes like that take a lot out of you. I need to get some electrolytes, some water, some food, and I need that like an hour ago. <laughs> okay, we got a nice fresh cup of coffee. We're all showered up. We got some food, we got some water, we got some electrolytes. We are feeling good now. So, I'm just gonna get the drone together and I'm gonna go out, try and catch sunset. So, let's get out there. Let's go catch the sunset. Hydrated. We got our coffee. I am a new man. <laughs> it's about 5:15, so we're just heading out now to the superstitions. We'll just find a place to park and relax and just enjoy the sweet deserty sunset. But yeah, so now we're just walking out here until we find a good spot and then rip the drone, dude. There's some rocks right here that I think will be a good spot for, to take off from yeah 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 let's get it dude god i hope there's no like flipping scorpions or rattlesnakes man i'm just kind of trudging through this crap <laughs> that's kind of stupid honestly i'm a d to d dude now that i thought of like scorpions and rattlesnakes i'm freaking bugging just and i'm done all right let's go here i think this will work got done flying it back on the ground safe and sound man that thing is so fun to fly and it's so cool just getting up above these rocks and just seeing the views like the just the vast landscape of just hill after hill after hill it's one of the coolest things ever i love flying this thing you gotta love when you have a successful sunset mission 
It's two nights in a row now, so we're on a roll. It is beautiful out here. I'm gonna try to snag said, some pics, like and I then said. we'll get packed up, and we'll get back to the car, so. There's so much to look at. <laughs> okay, now I think we'll call it. This is incredible out here. I'm literally just in awe. So, so nice. Let's just see what we get up to tomorrow. So for now, good night. Good morning guys. First of all, cheers. So this morning is Sunday morning. All that I really have planned for today is going to church this morning and then, then I think I'll be going on a sunset hike this evening. In between the church and the hike, I don't really have anything planned. So we'll see where the day takes us. But for now, I'm gonna enjoy this cup of coffee and then I'm gonna get ready for church. I'm gonna praise the Lord and then we'll go tackle the rest of our day. Let's go to church. Hello. So we finished up the church service. It was a very good service. I went to a local coffee shop after that. It's called Sweets Cold Brew. Pretty good coffee. And now I'm at a park and I'm just gonna go on a little walk with my coffee. Walk, get some sunshine, get some sun rays on my skin, get some vitamin D. Vitamin D, right? Or is it C? No, it's vitamin D. I know what I'm talking about. There's no way that thing's real. Wait, are they? Are those real or are those fake? Man? Okay, no, I think these actually are real. It's funny because those things look so fake at first. They look like robots. They have like little tags on them and stuff. If they're fake, whoever designed those needs a race because that's incredible. I just stood there for like five minutes probably looking like a dweeb staring at those things because <laughs> I couldn't tell if they're real or not. I was like, what in the world am I seeing right now? You know, sometimes you're just not always at your brightest. So I think that was one of those moments for me. Okay, finished our walk and now I'm here at a golf course and I'm gonna go out to their driving range and just whack a few balls, get some energy out, get some anger out, frustration, just pretend like that ball said something bad about my mom and just, just piss missile it out into the abyss. <laughs> Okay, I'm back home now. Finished up hitting ball, playing whack-a-mole. Uh, as you can see, I'm not that great, but I just love to go hit balls. It's fun to me, so I enjoy doing it. I'm gonna make some food, kind of maybe get some chores done around here.
bone apple tea. Does anyone else hate to think about the fact that dishes and laundry is a never ending cycle? I just did a whole load of dishes. After one meal, I already got all these. If you start thinking about it, you start getting overwhelmed. You're like, it never ends. It's just a, it's just a loop, a never ending loop. Okay, so I just rinsed off real quick and changed because I was a little bit sweaty from golf and I wanted to, to wash the outfit I was wearing during that. What the? Now we're gonna unpack my bags. It's a mess, I know. I'm in the process of unpacking it. Don't judge me. I don't really feel like filming it, so I'll just show you before and then to this. I know, I know, that was probably the best transition you've ever seen in your whole entire life. I appreciate it, I'm staying humble. <laughs> so now, I think I'm just gonna edit for a little bit and then we'll be heading out soon for the sunset hike. Let's go catch the sunset. Checking the battery life on this. Says 100% baby! I will never get tired of the views while driving out to the superstitions. The views are incredible. Every time I'm just sitting here just driving like, like literally just in awe. Like a kid at a circus, just sitting there and just. That's literally me every time I'm driving out here. I don't care what I look like. I have no shame. These views are incredible. I'll never grow tired of it. I swear I will never grow tired of it. Okay, I just got home from my sunset hike. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful place, beautiful lake. Um, you guys just saw the drone clips and some of the phone clips. Something about a desert lake. It's so unique. It's so just like fascinating. So yeah, so I'm gonna get settled in, get rested up, get ready for the work week this week. And we'll probably do some adventures midweek as well. But that will do it for this weekend, my first weekend in Phoenix. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along. Until next time. Don't stop exploring. We'll see you guys in the next one.